Another day, another broken gun. Last time we were out shooting, my little Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 decided to uh, fire a round that wasn't fully chambered on me. Actually, my friend was shooting, so it fired it on him. And what happened was this little, little tiny black piece fell out of the bolt when we opened it up. And I don't really know how it goes back in there. I think it might have a spring to it, but the spring isn't there. So what happened was, when we pulled the bolt out in the bolt carrier, the little black piece came falling out of, on this side, like somewhere right in there or something. I don't exactly know how it goes in there, but... Yeah, the gun fired a round that wasn't fully chambered, and there's the shell all busted up. There's the shell to a normal 22, so you can see it's not exactly the right size. Luckily, it didn't hurt anyone because it's a little 22, the explosion wasn't that big. But left a couple of marks inside the rifle, the upper receiver, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. I don't even know if you'll be able to see this on the camera. There's scratches. Let me get a pin scratches up towards the top right at the tip of that pin left some scratches there but the bolt doesn't touch it so I don't think it's really that big of a deal but I just got off the f got off the phone with Smith and Wesson and, and uh, they're sending me a prepaid shipping label by email so it's not going to cost me anything to send it back which I'm kind of happy about because when I ship my other gun back, my AK from Century Arms, I had to pay shipping, which was $18, and it took them a month to get it back. I'm hoping Smith & Wesson doesn't take as long to get my rifle back, because I really like this thing. I put about 200 rounds through it before it decided to explode on me, and I think the only reason it exploded on me was because I was using crap ammo. I was using the Remington golden bullet pack of 525 for like 25 bucks a big five I think it was so yeah that's what happened and uh, they're gonna fix it for free so I don't really care